What's up guys, my name is Javier and I am a fitness and swimmer photographer here in South Florida. Now, a lot of you know me as inline photography and I'm known for my fitness shoots, whether I do it at the beach or at the gym. Now to achieve this type of look, you already know I have a bunch of lights, light stands, cables, soft boxes, diffusers, sun bounces, maybe an assistant or two. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do the same type of lighting that I do with minimal gear. Now, what do I mean by minimal gear? We're gonna go out to the beach with my lovely model, Sylvie, and I'm gonna show you with your camera, a lens, and a small reflector, 24 inch or maybe 36 inch, you can achieve the same style of look that I do without all that crazy equipment. So come with us and come check this out. What's up guys, my name is Javier and I am here at the beach with my lovely model, Sylvie. Hola, como están? She is all the way from Colombia and she's gonna come out here because she wanted to shoot and get some nice location out here in the beach, even though Colombia is beautiful, but she still wants to come to Miami and get some cool shots. One of the reasons that I wanna pick this location is because we wanna get the palm trees, we wanna get the sun, but at the same time, you're gonna have issues with the sun because you might need a reflector, you might need a, an assistant to have an actual light bounce or something, or to cover up from the sun because it's giving her like the raccoon eyes because of the fact that the sun is actually hitting her or it's hitting her to the side, it's gonna give her a, a bad look. So you could actually take advantage of the same area and just look for location that's a shaded area. So right here to my left, or actually to your camera right, we're actually gonna have an area that still looks the same way as the palm trees and everything, but it's in a shaded area. It's gonna look a lot better. We'll have nice soft lighting and it'll accent all her features and at the same time not have the problems with the harsh sun hitting her eyes or making her squint because the, eyes, the sun is in her eyes. So let's check this out. So if you'll notice on these images, the look is perfect. I'm getting a nice blurred background because I'm at 4.0 using a 200 meter, meter lens and she looks great right here. The lighting is hitting her perfect and you don't have no issues. So if you're by yourself with the model and you're shooting and you're trying to get the same location, don't freak out. You don't need a light. You don't need a reflector. Don't fight with the sun. Just look for an area that you don't need the sun. You still get the actual light, nice soft lighting, and it's going to look great on her and she's not going to have any issues at all. So in the situation like this, even though you have the sun, I'm actually gonna use the sun to my advantage. So instead of having the model facing to the side or maybe behind you, I'm gonna have the sun directly on her. So it's literally gonna light her up perfectly. It's gonna give you that nice beauty light. When the sun is actually a little bit higher, it's better because now it's actually giving her almost like a 45 degree angle. Almost like if you're in a studio and you're actually using a softbox at a 45 degree angle, I'm actually using the sun the same way. It's a lot more powerful than actual light, but I'm gonna use that to my advantage. So if you notice, in the same position that she's in, I don't like the shadow on her actual stomach. So I'm gonna have her move her hand to the side and get away from that. As you do a set, you kinda wanna show her what you're doing so then she could actually see what look you're trying to go for. Number one, if she's comfortable with the look and number two, if she actually likes it and wants to do something better or actually understands the look that you're going for, the angle, so she could actually make her look even better. So you don't have to continuously every picture show it to them, but it's always good to let them know what they're getting because then it makes them feel more confident, makes them understand the shots that you're going for and they could actually put a little bit more emphasis in it if they understand the look that you're going for. So don't freak out when you actually want to get a shot and it's not working out for you. Just either change locations or save it for somewhere else. I wanted to get a nice sun on her, but in the morning it was going to be bad. So then I chose to do something different and go in a shaded area. And then now when the sun is actually working in my favor, that's when we come out and we actually shoot this location. So in this shot, we're actually shooting with the sun right behind her. The reason I'm doing that is to actually get almost like a rim light on her. Now, the easiest way to fix this 
is using a reflector. You don't really need to use a light or anything. And if you notice, when you're actually looking at her, when I move the reflector, I'm actually giving her light. So I'm using the sun as my secondary light. Pretty much just bouncing it off there. And you could either do it on your own or you could literally have it on the side and you literally have a light aiming at her the entire time. So when you're actually doing that, it's always better to underexpose. That way you could actually get the, the sky and the actual ocean in the background. If you overexpose, you're gonna actually have no information on your camera, which is gonna be all white. You're gonna be peeking on your, your whites. So therefore, it's gonna be bad. You can't bring that back. Now on the darks, you could actually go a little bit darker and you can always bring that back in either Lightroom or Photoshop or any one of your editing programs. So it's always better to shoot underexposed than overexposed. All right, guys, just to wrap it up, we showed you how to be able to shoot on the beach, be able to do things with the direct sunlight, being in the shaded area, changing outfits, changing locations, being able to use a reflector, being able to use the actual sun to help you out, or just using the soft diffuse of the actual trees and the clouds. So if you like what you saw, please comment below. Let us know if you have any questions, anything you guys want to know about. That way we could film it, we could show you guys. There's really no secret in photography. All it is is just being able to learn it and see what other people are doing. Have fun. We got our beautiful model taking selfies because you know you got to take selfies. <laughs> so thank you so much, Sylvie, for coming out. Check her out on her Instagram. We're going to link it down below as well, too. Her makeup is amazing. I really don't have to do anything for it. I don't have to Photoshop. I don't have to do nothing. So it's perfect. She's awesome at it. So photographers, tell your models, go check out her Instagram. They'll learn all the tips and everything because there's also tips about doing makeup for photography. When you go out on, on location and everything, you're actually doing pictures. It's different than when you're doing pictures for photo shoots because of the flash, it makes a difference on the face. So you don't want the girls to look like they have a ghost or they're all white while their skin is nice and tan. So there's tricks about that. She'll show you all of that. So check her out. Thanks guys.